Hi, this is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to design a real-life example of a composite beam using as-deep steel. This is a multi-story storage building where the typical column layout is 10 feet by 10 feet grid. In this particular building, the first floor is a parking space, so the second floor framing is a transfer level. It's composed of a series of beams and girders to transfer the load of the upper level columns to the first level columns and then to the foundation system. So this is a transfer beam composite. The concrete slab is five inches total thickness on a two inches metal deck. The beam spacing is 20 feet. The loads in the, in, in the construction stage uh, where the beam is not composite, it's just a steel, a steel beam. In addition to the cell weight of the slab and the, and the beam itself, uh, the uh, superimposed dead and live uh, distributed load is 0.2 and 0.5 kip per foot, corresponding to 10 PSF and uh, 25 PSF, just for the construction uh, stage. At the final stage, where the structure is fully in service, uh, the beam is uh, in a composite action already with the, with the slab and is going, going to be uh, subject to the following uh, loads. Dead, 0.2 keeper foot, light, 2.5 keeper foot. That uh, corresponds to 10 PSF and uh, 125 uh, PSF for, for storage. In addition to that, point loads corresponding to the columns coming down from uh, the upper levels. These are the reactions of the upper floors. Dead, 7.5 kips, and live, 12.5 kips. Uh, the beam span is uh, 35 feet, and the goal is to design uh, the beam, uh, the size, and the studs. Uh, the beam is laterally braced at the point loads for the construction stage. Let's open ASDIP Steel. When you open ASDIP Steel, the project manager comes up. Uh, from here, you can create a calculation. Let's create a calculation for a, for a beam, for a composite beam. Let's call it storage building example. So the calculation is already created. We open it, double click on that. And this is a typical uh, uh, composite beam form in ASIP steel. From here, we can just fill uh, the blanks, fill uh, all the input fields accordingly. This is just uh, the default values, don't mean anything to the example. We can change them. In our case, the span is 35 feet. We don't have any cantilevers. We know that it's gonna be it's gonna be braced at the 10, 20, and 30 feet from the left support. Let's input that from 10, 20, and 30 feet. It's gonna be supported laterally. So the top flange, of course. Uh, FY50, model elasticity 29,000, that's okay. And it's pin and pin, okay. Let's go to the slab deck uh, information. The concrete strength is usually 4,000. Uh, five inches thickness slab is, is okay. Beam spacing, we said that is 20 feet. This is going to be used by the, by the program to calculate the self weight of the slab and, and, and the metal deck. It's going to be a composite beam, so this check box should be checked. And the metal deck is 2 inches. The deck orientation is going to be longitudinal. Okay. So we can, we can see here what we are uh, doing. Uh, you know, as, as you go, you, you can check 
graphically all the input that you are uh, providing to the program. Let's go to the loads. Okay, uh, so we are going to provide uh, dead live uh, loads. So it's a set of load cases. It's okay. Uh, we can design it uh, in, in ASD or in LRFD as we prefer. So let's let's uh, input the information about the uniform load, the full length. So the from zero to thirty-five feet. We said that the construction is 0.2 and 0.5 dead and live. So 0.2 and 0.5 here. Then for the final stage during this during the service of the structure is gonna be 0.2 and 2.5. 0.2 and 2.5. And now you can see here graphically that uh, all the information that you enter here is reflected there for, for this load combination, okay? In addition to that, we have concentrated loads. Let's go to the concentrated tab. So we have a concentrated load at, at 10, 20, and 30 feet, 7.5 and 12.5. The concentrated loads are 7.5 and 12.5 for all three loads, 7.5 and 12.5, 7.5 and 12.5. Graphically, we have the three loads shown there. So we have all the loads already defined here in this in this uh, image what we need to do is to uh, to design the uh, the beam itself let's go to the at a glance view here you can see a summary of the design go to design design manager here we can populate the table with all the winners uh, of a certain criteria we need to define the minimum and the maximum depth for example we expect that for a 35 feet long span, we expect, for example, that the beam could be between, uh, say, 20 and, uh, say, 30 inches. In that range of depth, I, I, I want the beam. So let's populate the table with all the winners. Yeah, all these sections that uh, appear in this table comply with the design criteria by this ratio shown there. We can sort the table by weight, you know, the lighter and the heavier at the bottom or vice versa. And we can sort it also by ratio on you know, the minimum or the maximum at the top and so on. So we can sort the table in several, several ways and, and then decide what section uh, we want. For example, if we sort by weight, uh, let's see. Well, this, this one looks looks promising. W30 by 90, which is a ratio 0.95, is uh, actually the lightest in the table, and the ratio is is okay. 0.95 is 95 percent of, of the capacity. Let's select that one. So the selected section has been transferred directly to the uh, to the form, and now all the properties of that section W30 by 90 has been used to calculate uh, all the parameters and all the results. In this case, the deflection is controlling the design 0.96. In a uh, flexural design for the composite section is 0.92. So deflection is controlling the design. Uh, basically. What we have done is to instruct the program to find the lightest section with the minimum number of studs. In other words, as it is calculating the, the minimum partial composite section that complies uh, with the design criteria. So uh, W30 by 90 is the lightest section with the minimum number of studs, which is 32, 32 studs. Uh, we could use a larger number of studs, increasing the percentage of uh, partial composite, 
and hopefully we will get a lighter section than this one because we have more stuff now let's try that instead of letting us calculate the minimum composite uh, partial section let's use for example 100 percent composite fully composite fully composite and let's uh, select the section again same range okay let's uh, sort by weight yeah now for example instead of 90 uh, 30 by 90 we have 27 by 84 which is a little bit lighter let's select that one for example so we have more studs 100% studs 100% composite action 116 studs and you see uh, that the section is is lighter in other words more studs lighter section versus a little bit heavier but less studs so, for example, if we try, uh, say, 80% of uh, full composite action, this is the, the, the section that we, we should use. It's controlled by deflections. Uh, so the flexure design is, uh, is, is, is quite uh, comfortable. Deflection is, is in, the, in, the, in the limit. In the condensed, uh, tab you can see the results in more detail you can see in shear what is the uh, controlling limit state the same for the non-composite in the uh, in the construction stage is controlled by lateral torsional buckling but it's only 49 percent of the design so the in the in the construction stage this steel section alone is comfortable no problem with that design in the fully composite section is 89% of the capacity, which is okay. Deflection is 100%, so we're in the limit, in the border limit there. Graphically, you can see the moments, and in the detail tab, you can see more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas, exposed formulas, and reference to, to the AISC code. So you wanna check all the calculations step by step. This is the way uh, to check them. You can print out also the reports. They are pre-formatted. We, we see the several pages there, or you can see the, uh, the detail report as well. We can see multi multiple pages like that four pages okay we have designed the beam uh, in a very uh, efficient way uh, quickly and uh, we found the lightest section that complies with all the design criteria okay thank you very much for your attention see you in the next video